hello welcome to decode mania i am sahil and i have started how to develop an image gallery application using bootstrap 5 jquery php and mysql and this is the third video of this series in previous video you have seen that how i have designed this page using bootstrap 5 now today in this video i am going to show you how to create database and table for this application how to connect this application with database and also how to define some utility methods okay so let's start so first i will create database and table for this application so for this open your php my admin so this is my php my admin so just click on new and in database name i will write image underscore gallery okay now click on create now inside this database i will create a table with name gallery okay and click on go now first column will be id and type will be int make this column auto increment and primary key now next column will be alt sorry alt underscore text and type will be where care length will be 255 okay now next column will be image underscore path type will be where care and length will be 255 okay now click on save so our database and table is ready okay now open your project okay so this is our project now first i will create a file config.php okay now inside this file i will define a class to connect this application with the database okay so for this what i will do is just open php tags and here I will define a class config and inside this class I will declare some member variable actually not member variable I will define some member constant okay so here I will use private const db host equal to localhost sorry localhost and private const db user equal to root and private const db pass equal to blank private const db name database name will is image underscore gallery okay now create one more member variable dsn okay and here i am using mysql database so we have to create a data source network of mysql and database okay so here you can write data source network okay data source network and here i will write mysql colon host equal to sorry host equal to and here we have to uh, use self scope resolution operator and db host constant okay similarly we will use db name equal to and here just use sorry self db name okay so the dsn is ready now declare one more member variable protected con equal to null okay now here i will use sorry here i will use a constructor method for connecting to the database okay so here i will use method for connection to the data base okay and here i will use public function double underscore construct okay now sorry now inside this method i will use i will use try and catch block okay so catch in catch i will use video exception to catch any exception okay so here i will use die error and 
here I will print the exception message using this object and call this get message method okay now in try block I will access connection variable and I will sign with video class okay now in this video class I will pass three parameter first is DSN sorry this DSN and next is database username so just pass self scope resolution operator db user similarly we have to pass db pass okay now next i will also set some attribute okay so just use set attribute and pdo actor fetch default default fetch mode will be pdo fetch sop okay and for testing i am just going to write echo connected successfully sorry successfully okay now to check we have to create an object of this class so just here i will use dollar ob equal to new config okay name of the class save this go to your browser and here just write the file name config.php okay so here you can see the connected successfully message it means this uh, class is working fine and our application is now connected with the database okay now next what I will do is I will create another file util util.php now inside this file I will define some utility method okay so for this I will also define a class util now inside this class first I will define a method for input sanitization okay so first I will write a comment method for input sanitization sorry sanitization okay and here I will write public function test input test input and here I will pass a parameter data okay and here I will assign date I will use data and assign trim and just pass data sorry and next data equal to strip slashes data now this trim method will remove all white spaces from the inputs input field string okay and this strip slices will remove any slashes from the input string and last html special care now just use return data okay so this method is ready now next we will define another method method for displaying displaying success and error sorry error message okay so here I will write public function public function so message and here I will pass two parameter one is type and second one is message okay now here I will use return return and here i will create a div sorry div now just assign some bootstrap class i will use bootstrap alert bootstrap pipe alert okay so here in class i will use alert 
alert now alert will be dynamic so here i will concatenate this type parameter okay and next here i will use alert alert dismissible alert dismissible okay and one more class fade and then so and i will also use role equal to sorry alert okay now inside this div uh, i will use strong strong tag and inside this strong i will display the message so just use message now i will also display the close button okay so for this i will use button button tag and here i will use type equal to button and class btn close okay and data hyphen bs hyphen dismiss equal to alert okay and area label equal to close now now our both method methods are ready okay so we will use these two methods in later uh, videos okay so that's it for this video in next video i will show you how to upload image okay so thanks for watching this video please like and share this video and also subscribe this channel see you soon in next video